Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From a Viking beer hall to a sorcerer's box of treasure in Pompeii, here are 10 of the most amazing recent archaeological discoveries. Number 10. Viking Beer Hall The Vikings were well known for partying, celebrating holidays, and of course successfully plundering another village. And in the summer of 2019, archaeologists uncovered the remains of what would have likely been the social center of one of their towns, a beer hall. It was buried in a place called Scale Farmstead, which is on the island of Rosé in Scotland. There is evidence that people have lived here for over 1,000 years. At first, the team was looking at some small walls, but realized that they were all a part of a much larger structure, one that's believed to have been 43 feet long. Stone benches were found along the sides of the building, and several artifacts were also recovered, such as a bone comb, pottery, a bone spindle whorl, and quite a few middens, which are very old piles of trash. You would be surprised at how much we can learn about how people lived thousands of years ago from their trash. The building was in use between the 10th and 12th centuries and would have been where only the most important of Vikings would have been welcome. Investigations are still ongoing, but this discovery looks very similar to others found across northern Europe, and researchers hope to learn far more about how Vikings lived at the time. Number 9. Pompeii Graffiti Historians have long believed that the destructive events that took place at Pompeii happened in August of 79 AD, but a recent discovery has cast doubt over all of that. The main record that gives the date of August 24th for when Vesuvius violently erupted was written by Pliny the Younger, who had witnessed the event from the other side of the Bay of Naples in Messinum. In his writings, he records that his uncle, Pliny the Elder, was in charge of a fleet of ships and was killed trying to rescue friends from Pompeii. Pliny the Younger says that they were all choked by the dense fumes and looked more like people asleep than dead. That night, he and his family witnessed intense darkness, screaming, fires, and the ash as it fell. When daylight returned, the city was buried deep in ash like snow, and Pompeii was in ruins. In October of 2018, though, archaeologists revealed a newly found white wall, which was covered in graffiti. It was written in charcoal and mentions a date, the 17th of October. Charcoal is a fragile substance and doesn't last long, so the writing on the wall must have been made very close to the time when the eruption preserved the area. This, along with other evidence, such as a calcified tree branch which was carrying fruits that only come out in the fall, means that the current thinking is that the eruption actually took place on October 24th, more than two months later than Pliny the Younger had said. Researchers are still in disagreement about this, though, and until conclusive proof is found, the debate will continue. You know how much historians love a good debate. Number 8. Tree Coffin Cultures around the world have developed various different ways of honoring their dead, but occasionally human remains are found in the least expected places. In 2017, while builders were working on a project in a school district in Zurich, Switzerland, a woman was found buried inside a hollowed-out tree trunk coffin, which still had bark on its exterior. Yikes, that would be a pretty freaky discovery, right? She had been placed there more than 2,200 years ago, but the site was so well preserved that researchers were able to ascertain a wealth of information about her. She was about 40 years old when she died and probably hadn't done much physical labor throughout her life. Analysis of her bones showed that she had grown up in the area around where Zurich is today and was fond of eating starchy and sweetened foods. She had been buried wearing bronze bracelets and a bronze belt chain, but researchers were more interested in the clasp on her necklace. Both ends of the necklace had a brooch clip that enabled her to fasten the string of blue glass and yellow amber beads around her neck, which is a mechanism rarely seen from so long ago. This wasn't the first burial site found in the area either. In 1903, during construction of the school's gym, the remains of a Celtic man who was buried around the same time as this new discovery were found. He had been laid to rest with his sword, a shield, and a lance, and it's more than likely that they both knew each other. Unsurprisingly, archaeologists are now carefully looking at other plots on the site just in case other members of their community were also buried nearby, with the potential of finding further information about how their society worked and why this was the place where they chose to live. And now for a recent discovery about Emperor Nero, but first be sure to subscribe if you are new here and join the Origins Explained family. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to you all for supporting this channel, couldn't do it without you. Number 7. Emperor Nero's Sphinx Room 
In 2018, conservationists who were working on the restoration of Emperor Nero's palace in Rome found something completely unexpected, a secret underground chamber. Inside was a series of colorful animal frescoes which depicted images of panthers, centaurs, and a sphinx. The palace, known as the Domus Aurea, was built more than 1900 years ago, following the fire of 64 AD that destroyed large swathes of Rome. It was Nero's pride and joy, but hasn't stood the test of time so well. Efforts are underway to regain some of its former glory, and this new discovery further shows how enamored with art the emperor was. It's been nicknamed the Sphinx Room by workers because of one of the standout images, but there are also murals of flowers, leaves, fruit, aquatic creatures, exotic birds, and the god Pan. Unfortunately, the room is buried by tons of earth, and disturbing it could jeopardize the foundations upon which the rest of the palace is built. It'll therefore take quite some time until the full extent of what's in there is known. But the investigations began in early 2019, and may one day reveal more secrets about one of Rome's most infamous emperors, who is believed to have been responsible for starting the fire in Rome so he could rebuild the city, as well as murdering his mother, both his wives, and eventually committing suicide at the age of 30. Number 6. Chinese Pot Marijuana is becoming more socially acceptable in some countries around the world as both a medicinal and recreational substance, but there is evidence to suggest it's been a part of human culture for far longer than you might think. In 2019, scientists announced the discovery of 10 wooden incense burners from human burial sites in the Jirzhankal Cemetery on the Pamir Plateau of western China, which were covered in what was initially a mysterious residue. When they tested the substance, it immediately became clear that it was cannabis, but there was something about it that was surprising. It has been known for a long time that people in China had cultivated the crop as far back as 5,500 years ago, but this was for use as an oil seed and for its fibers. This form had very low levels of psychoactive substances, so it was unlikely to have been smoked for its high. The residue in the recent discovery, though, revealed something different. It had high levels of THC, the psychoactive chemical in cannabis, which suggests the people purposefully cultivated crops for use in ritual or religious activity, in an attempt, some believe, to communicate with the gods or the deceased. Number 5. Lost Scottish Village The 1692 massacre of the MacDonald clan of Glencoe in the Scottish Highlands was one of the most infamous violent events in Scottish history. Having failed to swear allegiance to King William III, government soldiers who had been staying with the clan were ordered to kill their hosts. 38 men were immediately murdered and their families were forced to flee to the hills, where most of them died from exposure. It was such a bloody episode that it's thought to have inspired the Red Wedding and Game of Thrones. But until recently, the location of the victims' homes remained a mystery. That was until archaeologists began looking at parts of the valley and discovered the remains of the small township of Aktriokten, one of three known abandoned settlements in the area. They found structures that were probably houses for large families and found evidence that these buildings were covered in a layer of turf that would have helped them withstand the mountain conditions. Some pottery fragments have also been found nearby, but the researchers are hopeful that by focusing on the house, they may find a trove of artifacts. Number 4. Colonial Brothel In 2018, just by chance, an archaeology student was walking through the ruins of Brunswick Town, North Carolina, when they noticed what seemed to be the outline of a building that wasn't on any map. Further investigation found that there was, indeed, a subterranean structure that was about 5 feet deep and covered an area of 400 square feet. The following year, and after a month-long excavation, a team from East Carolina University revealed their findings, believing that this was the site of a colonial tavern, one that was potentially a brothel. The entire town was burned down in 1776 by British soldiers, but this building appears to have collapsed in flames a few years earlier. Its demise meant that a number of objects were entombed inside, like a time capsule, and is now proving to be a valuable source of artifacts from the time. So far, they have retrieved a brass tap from a wine barrel, tobacco pipes, mugs, liquor bottles, an Irish halfpenny, and several items associated with restoring garments. Archaeologists plan to return to the site next year in the hope of finding even more evidence about what this place once was, and to help reveal more of the lost history of the area. Number 3. The Great Synagogue of Vilna 
During the Second World War and in a subsequent attack by Lithuanian authorities in 1957, the Great Synagogue of Vilna was left in ruins. But the place once known as the Jerusalem of the North, and despite having since had a school built on top of it, is still an incredibly important archaeological site where numerous treasures and artifacts are constantly being found. By using ground-penetrating radar in 2015, researchers were able to determine its precise location, and recent excavations have made some remarkable finds, including two ritual baths, known as mikvahs, part of the bima, and a series of floor tiles. Researchers have also found seating plaques, a cellar, a prayer book, 200 coins from between the 16th and 20th centuries, and even buttons from Napoleon's army. Perhaps the most important find so far is a stone Torah reading table inscribed with writings in honor of a rabbi, and it shows the close connection the Lithuanian Jewish community felt with Israel. Number 2. Cherokee Messages A group of explorers first found a series of mysterious writings in Manitou Cave, Alabama in 2006, but it was only recently that archaeologists, with the help of a team from the three federally recognized Cherokee tribes, have been able to understand what they mean. The words were written on the walls and ceilings of the cave around 200 years ago in a newly created alphabet known as Cherokee Syllabary that was invented by a man called Sequoia in the early 1800s. It became widely used by the Cherokee, but it was still a surprise to the researchers to find it written on walls that are in some cases more than a mile from the cave's mouth. The messages themselves are ceremonial and are mainly accounts of their ancestors and of a sport called stickball, which was similar to lacrosse. Some, though, were written backwards, which the researchers believe was done so that the spirits who live in the cave were able to read them. While the spiritual messages are sacred, so the translations weren't revealed, the others detailed events surrounding the ball games. In preparation for each match, players underwent a cleansing with water, and it's now clear that the waters in this cave were integral to that ritual. Number 1. Sorcerer's Treasure Trove the continuing excavations in Pompeii regularly discover new and exciting finds, and in August of 2019, researchers announced the discovery of what they called a sorcerer's treasure trove. They were searching through a house where, in one room, lay the remains of ten victims. Here they uncovered what remained of a wooden box. Inside it were crystals, amethyst, ceramic, and amber, as well as scarab amulets, gems, and various figures. Rather than simply being decorative ornaments, it's believed that the contents of the box would have been used during rituals to ward off bad luck. Sadly for the residents of Pompeii and those in the house, these trinkets weren't enough. Thanks for watching! Which archaeological discovery was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! Have a great day! Bye!